All right, picking up where we left off in the previous video, we are now going to look at the paint by polygon draw mode. What it essentially does is completely fills each polygon that it comes into contact with. With that selected, I will hit the W key in order to turn wireframe on so we can see this a little more clearly. I'm just brushing across it and there's no overspray. It's just filling the entire polygon and nothing else. It's showing a little preview each time I hover my cursor over a polygon. So yeah, as you can imagine, there are plenty of scenarios where this can be beneficial because it allows you to quickly fill an area with one texture without actually having to mask off the area that you actually want to avoid. All right, this last example is going to cover the 3D bow spline. And you'll notice how it is grayed out whenever it's not applicable to the tool you have selected. In this instance, it is most applicable or usable when you are working on a sculpt object in the sculpt workspace. So for example, we want to use the pose tool in order to make a very unique selection let me try and demonstrate this because again, it's a very limited use case. So with the post tool, you're basically making a selection in order to perform an advanced transform operation. You can choose the mode. In this case, I want to first use the line selection method. Let's say I wanted to rotate the head instead of having it tilted to its right side. Maybe I wanted to straighten it up. Now hit the E key. And I'll use a brush draw mode. I can create the start point, And then basically the second point is where the gradient will stop. So if I want it to be gradient all the way to the end, then I need to bring my cursor all the way to the end. But if I want the gradient to be just here in the neck region, I will click here. With this selection method, 3D coat is essentially projecting in screen space. And that's not necessarily what we want. In some cases, you may have to go back with the paint selection mode to deselect certain areas that you did not want selected, such as the leg region here. Let's clear the selection. Alternatively, I could use the painting method. I could try to use a, let's say, a freeform lasso to do that. So I could try to select this. Okay, and then uh, that's pretty close. I think, you know, in most cases I could work with that. Uh, but again, it, it really was just kind of a, a screen projection. So if I want to make sure that I'm getting the skin folds and I want it to start there or stop there either way, right now I've got to go in and do a little bit of cleanup. I could go with a brush and soften this up. But with the 3D spline, I don't really have to do that. Let's clear the selection. And what I want to do is go to the end here, choose the 3D spline, and I can just walk that around. If I try to do this with the other spline types, again, I'm just going to get a projection. Okay, I'll hit escape to finish the completion of that spline, or maybe I'll create one point there. All right. So the idea isn't to make a selection along this line. It's basically to select everything from here to the end of an object. So when I hit the Enter key now, rather than it making a ring, you see how it's made a selection, a very unique selection that isn't possible to do with any other option. And with that, we will conclude this look at the paint by polygon draw mode, as well as the 3D spline draw mode and the series on the E-Panel in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.